Okay, here goes another rough and ready uh, tutorial. Um, just do on the fly. Um, here I am in Zara Web Designer 9, or any Zara product really will do. Um, and I've imported this um, bitmap here from the internet, uh, and I purposely import um, large files. There's no good importing. Um, files are uh, just 96 dots per inch and 500 by 600 so if I go to the bitmap gallery I've got these two and this one here is uh, 2248 by uh, 134 3 pixels and I've got another one here which is 2592 by 1994 pixels so obviously they're, they're large um, and for this type of work you, you need a large, large work um, I'm going to go now and go to zoom um, zoom to drawing you can see the two um, images that I've got here now um, and we zoomed at 19% so you can see they're quite large images well, the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to move this over here a minute move that to there I'm going to just create a, a rectangle somewhere within that region um, bring in the colour editor and the eyedropper and I want that to be that colour basically I'm go control shift B it just puts that back behind that one image and then I want some text and I'll do another line of text along here and I'll go James Bond dies at Alcatraz you can't even see it so hit escape make that heading to start off to make it bigger um, make it even bigger that way then click those and make that even bigger till it matches the headline there um, I'm just going to zoom in for a second um, select the text select the colour picker colour editor and the eyedropper and I'll just bring this down to collect that so it's not totally black and it works better if it's not totally black and then we'll go uh, previous zoom so we've now got this James Bond dies and I'll get out Alcatraz you've got this background colour and you've got that photograph um, so click one two three it says three objects and we go arrange combine shapes uh, con control group so we now that we've got those in, in as a group next thing I would do is to go into the no, um, mold tool and this time we're going to use a perspective mold not an envelope but that's an envelope mold there uh, I'll use a perspective mold click on perspective mode straight off and I'll very very quickly just pull this around here not being very particularly serious at the moment how we do it doesn't matter just getting into a rough position that we want then I'm going to zoom in um, back in the mold tool I can start adjusting it a bit more the problem I've got along here is that you've got this dark image against the dark border um, and that will create some uh, problem but I think you could remove that if you wanted but for the time for this tutorial I'm not going to bother um, I just move these 
points around. See what, what I mean about this black bit here? It does does make it a bit difficult. Um, Uh, that's not looking too bad at all with a mole tool. We can just click off it like um, click on the screen and zoom to that. That doesn't look too bad to me. Um, got the previous zoom I'm still a bit unhappy about the um, this bit with the mold mold down here. I don't know if I can zoom in closer and whether that'll help. Oh, bottom. I uh, didn't need to do that. Um, and there. Okay. Previous zoom. Mm, looking quite good there. So I'm going to go now to zoom to paste content. That's not looking too bad. I'm never going to drag and select over those two. And I'm going to do arrange create a bitmap copy. The I already know that the lower uh, the lower one the iPad is um, transparent PNG and so I'm going to keep the two transparent PNGs and I'm going to create that bitmap size instead of 96 I'm going to make it 300 because they are large images you're using and go create and there's the image you just created um, so it's big but you can see that that works quite well um, that actually um, looks as if that image is on that page and that heading is on that page uh, on that iPad um, you can then go excuse me I don't know what oh, it's just saving stop saving I don't want it to be saving at the moment try to create a video bugger off Now it's going to get stuck saving, isn't it? <laughs> As I'm talking it down here, that right, saved there. Um, so I'm going to go file arrange create bitmap copy. And this time, if I just wanted to use it for the web. I could go to bitmap size, I uh, put that down to 96, go create, create, and that would be fine for web use. Um, you can't actually see a lot of difference on the screen here, but um, it's far better to, 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 to use larger images, especially when you're using the mold tool, because it does tend to um, distort things uh, a lot. Um, Anyway, that's the way I'll do it. Um, um, I hope that helped. Um, this is Egg. Uh, good night. Signing off.